We come now to the topic. We come now to the topic of epistemology. Epistemology is the study of knowledge, and essentially, um, you know, you can read the the write up about the etymology and that. But one of the things that comes up is this question of how do I know something rather than thinking or believing. If I know something, I am saying that not only is the thing that I am saying true, but um, that I have an idea in my mind, but that that idea is in fact a true idea. And so knowledge is going beyond just thinking, it's going on believing, but it's saying that, that what I am saying, what I am thinking, is not only an idea I have, but it is a true idea. Now, um, you know, I oftentimes say, you know, you know, if I was in the classroom and the students had driven to campus on that day, I would say, well, how many of you know your car is in the parking lot? And usually, most of the students will raise their hand. I'll say, do you actually know? I mean, is it possible that somebody has stolen it? Is it possible that it's been towed? Is it, is it possible that there's been an explosion and it's been thrown somewhere? I mean, that's, those are all possibilities. I mean, we think it's in the parking lot. Every time we've left it in the parking lot, it's been there. So we have good reason to think that. But do we know it? And how do we go beyond that? And so the question is, is how do we go beyond ever just thinking things are true and having reasons to think them and actually be able to assert that I know something is true without, you know, that. I mean, now, if I was standing there and I was looking at my car, I'd probably say I know it's there. Of course, one could argue maybe it's a mirage. Maybe it's a hologram. I don't know. I mean, that's possible. Um, but, you know, we could, we could, you know, those would be questions about knowledge. Now, the example I always like to use is one time, it's been years ago, and it was when the movie Men in Black 2, I believe, was coming out, and the director of it, Barry Sonnenfeld, um, was on David Letterman. And uh, he was talking to Letterman about the filming of the movie, and he was talking about the actor Will Smith. And he said about the actor Will Smith, he said, he said, Will Smith is a very difficult uh, person to have on set. He's always pulling pranks. He's always doing all these things. And he said, he said, the problem is, is he said, Will Smith knows he's a good actor. And so he knows he can get away with a lot of stuff because they're going to put up with it because he's a good actor. Now, and I, when he said that, I thought immediately, I thought, you know, he said he knows he's a good actor. He's saying Will Smith has an idea in his mind that I am a good actor and that that idea is in fact true, right? If he had said Will Smith believes he's a good actor, he would have been insulting Will Smith. But when he said Will Smith knows he's a good actor, he was confirming the knowledge that Will Smith had. And so what we have here is we have this idea that if you know something, that it is not just an idea you have in your head, but it is something that is true in reality. And so what we do is we can say, for example, with Will Smith, if he says he knows he's a good actor more than just he thinks he's a good actor or he believes he's a good actor, both of those would be insults. In fact, they would be saying he has an idea in his head and it's wrong, right? I mean, it would be very clearly that if somebody said, you know, if I said, you think you're a good student, I, I would be pretty clearly insulting you, I think. Um, if I said, you believe you're a good actor or you're a good student, you know, you would be that. But if I said, you know you're a good student, that would be a compliment. I would be telling you, you are, in fact, a good student. And so to me, that sort of strikes me as sort of where we get this knowledge idea that, you know, when you say somebody knows something, like, for example, about themselves, that you're saying you're confirming the truth of it. And that's the key to knowledge is it's not just an idea you have, but it's an idea that is, in fact, true.